Good morning, everyone. Well, today we're back with Tool Time Tuesday, and today our um, our tool that we are going to be using is stitching. Um, they said with the machine, but I know they don't care if we actually hand stitch. And you know, I'm sure they don't care either way. <laughs> we're we're just in it to have fun and to use those tools that have been collecting dust. And I'll tell you, my sewing machine is one of them. It's like it was something that I got when I got married. I just thought every house had to have a sewing machine. I mean, my mom had one. She used it all the time. <laughs> now, I can I can sew if I have to. I really don't care to. But now with paper, I think I, I would enjoy it much more. And um, I have sewn on paper before um, when we did card classes. And but I ended up having to sew everybody's, so it's like that wasn't a whole lot of fun, but anyway. So anyhow, I did um, think I should do a practice run, and so I just stitched this Prima paper. I thought it would be close to the, now it's not quite as thick as Minte, but um, I figured they would be close to similar, and I think I can handle that. So anyway, I am using Minte's Chocolate Kiss, and I'm using these uh, photo booth photos of me and my husband at my second daughter's wedding, and um, we were just being silly, um, and it's like we made the goofiest faces. Well, actually, I just did. He was normal, <laughs> but that's how it always is. <laughs> he can be goofy, but he's never goofy in public. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> but um, they had these mustaches, mustaches, and it's like I noticed if I did this really weird grin that I look like Snidely Whiplash. So that was my <laughs> that was my favorite thing. So anyhow, um, so I got this one where we just are looking more more cute, and this one where we're being goofy. And um, first with, we did the mustaches, then we just did normal, and then um, we kissed at the end in black and white. And then we, did, we must have went back again later because <laughs> then we did these. So I'm going to do this, and I'm, I'm going to use this paper, and it's number three. And then I'm going to mat it in this number four, and I'm going to do something like this, and I will um, take the center out. And then I'm going to take our photo booth photos, our photo booth photos, and I'm going to mat them in this, like one on here, and then one on here, or something. I don't know, something, so that it, it, I don't end up with the stripe on top. Both times I'll flip it over or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And, and then I have these Tim Holtz, um, it's film strip ribbon, and it's by Ideology, and it feels like real ones. <laughs> and, and they curl up too. So hopefully I can get those to lay down. That will be a whole another trick. And, oh, and this is the um, six by eight. So, I know that a couple of the other girls are going to demonstrate um, sewing. I will not be doing that just because um, I'm going to be sewing in another room. The lighting is not well, so, and I don't think I could get these lights in there to do that. So I'm going to get the paper cut down, do the stitching, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've decided to stitch the outside of the like the frame and then I stitched this also and I also stitched the mat so I'm going to um, this one here the back strings I taped those 
I might just leave those like they are. I don't know. I mean, I'm so thrilled that I stitched. <laughs> I just kind of want it all there. I don't know. Um, otherwise, I'll have to decide soon, I guess, because I'll have to tape them down someplace. Okay, I'm just kind of taping here and there. I usually give myself an inch and a half. I don't know how come I only gave myself an inch today when I could have definitely used it. Because one time I did get caught on the sewing machine. Okay. So, oh, I think I want to tape the, at least the back ones so they're not overlapping into the front. And I'm just using some washi tape that I have. It's probably, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I can't um, talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> Obviously. There's limits, there's limits. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do two tapes. I probably don't have to because it's going to be taped down, but okay, so I'm going to cut off some of this now. I was just kind of afraid to cut it before I did that. Okay, and again, I'm just going to try to, I'm going to try to leave it there because I would, I would just like to see it. I mean, I did all this sewing. Um, it was kind of, you know, that real satisfaction of hearing the needle going through the paper, I have to say. Um, my mom sewed all the time, so it's like I used to sit, I spent more time sitting on the other end of that table just watching her sew. Okay, I'm just winging it. I think that's the spot. Did I ever find my, I don't think I found my T-square yet. I cleaned off the table the other day because we had company and yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. Of all the things. Okay, I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter. Did this cut that? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Okay, and then I decided to put this one on here. Oh, maybe it needs to be the other way around. I think that one needs more color. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And these were like this, except for that they had... Um, my daughter and her husband's um, date on it, and it was like that at the top. But I'm, I just cut those off. And then I'll write on it. Now this, you might not see it on every side just because I cut them and then I realized it's kind of, I didn't leave too much room for threads. But I'm gonna figure that's good. Okay, and then I want this one this way because I don't want the stripes to both be on the bottom. My poor taper. <laughs> the abuse it has to take. Okay, so I got threads up here and threads down here. Okay. And let's see. I guess I'm going to put it like this. Yeah, I think that should do it. I love sewing on it. It was fun. Now that I have the sewing machine set up, I might just enjoy that a few more times. That's what my goal was to actually have it set up so I could just do it whenever I wanted to. 
but I, I can't have, <laughs> it's like, I'm so strung out over the whole house. It's like, I've got my, I've got my um, filming in the kitchen. Now I can't tell if I'm straight or not because I don't know where that ruler is. That's that's gonna be what, what else I do today. Oh, and I haven't even used my things here. Okay, my longest one I think is this one. And I wanna run that under here. And the tape needs to hold it down because otherwise I just don't know how to, you know, with it being clear. Okay, so I think that should do it. Let me see if I can put a little extra here. Okay, and then I've got two more pieces. Where's the other one? Do you see it? <laughs> okay, one. I know I had three. You know I gotta do things in odds. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Do you think I could, I've lost, um, what's the other thing I lost today? <laughs> oh, one of my little candy pieces I'm putting on here. Okay, and I think, I'll do this one kind of like this where it's not and then kind of want to put this where where it doesn't seem so much like maybe I really wished I could um, kind of curve it and stuff, but um, I don't know, let me see. I suppose I could do that. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to cover up this because I'm going to be building off that. Where can I put it? Well, now I need to hear you. <laughs> there, leave it off, put it on. I don't know. This is one of those things it's like I've had forever. I would like to try using that, you know, use it. Maybe I'll need to do that. Oh, I'll just, okay, let's see if I do it like this. The tape needs to be here. Let's see if I can do that without knocking over that thing again. Kind of put it over the picture. Tape it down to there. Oh, this might be asking a lot of. <laughs> okay, who else does this crazy taping thing? Okay, let's see. I think I need to have a little more here if I think I'm going to tape something else to it. Okay, let's see. Do I like it or do I not? Maybe I'd just like to have one of these curved. Because I kind of don't like it that they look exactly the same. Let's see, can I do that? Let me see what I can do with this. Sewing, film strip. <laughs> I just want to do everything I haven't done before on the, just this one. <laughs> Let's see, maybe that. Because I kind of want it to just look like kind of natural there. 
Now do I want to put this someplace else? I don't really want to cover up all the, the chocolates. Okay, I think just a minute, I have to try it everywhere. Hmm, that's not bad. Okay, maybe I'm going to leave that. Okay, and by the time that um, I tape everything again, or tape and glue, I'm gonna, I can always put glue dots underneath there. Okay, so now I've got these chocolates here, so I'm going to put chocolates over top of that. You know how I just like to build upon what I have when I'm using Mente papers. So I've got like regular size dimensional, or the smaller dimensionals, that's what I actually have. This one here and it's got a thicker one on it because it's going to go over top of the thing the chocolate below it okay and then I, I've got this little banner here I'm gonna use And some of these were from the, the cut apart sheet that was, that's included with the kit and some of them were from the um, 6x8 pad and I can't tell you which is which right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just line that up, overlap the whoops, overlap the whoops, overlap the chocolate that's Right there above it. I thought this was perfect since it's Valentine's Day. Because I was I was gonna do something else and I thought, oh I'd just like to do Valentine's Day. Okay, and then I've got the little jar and it's got those little I think they're um, those cake pops. That's what they look like to me. That's the only thing I've ever seen like that. Um, Alex had one of those one day. I don't. <laughs> she kind of acted like it wasn't that big of a deal. So I don't know if it was very good or not. Okay. Do I want to kind of pull up? one of these threads and kind of stick it under it. Oh, I think I've seen a ladybug just fly past me. It's a nice day today. In the 50s. We're liking that weather. Okay, and I will put definitely something underneath there. Okay, I've got this little leather with, or leather, letter with the little gingham bow on it. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to cover up the bunny with it because I'm not nuts for the bunny being there. So I'm just going to put it like it's a little love note. And then stick that there. And I've got white or red or chocolate. I'm kind of thinking white, but it's like I think that all the time because that's a safe color, the absence of color. <laughs> so what do I want to do here? Do I want to use red? Maybe red. That would be fun. 
Okay, so I think I really want to put a big one over here. Maybe a medium and then a little one. And then up here, since so it's kind of a diagonal again. And where do I want to put this? I think I'm going to use the bigger one up in here. And I'll do a smaller one there. And maybe I'll use another small one over here. Okay, and then I'm going to put Adam and Angela. And it's August. Eighteenth. I figure if I do this now, I won't forget because sometimes I put it away and forget about it. Okay, so at least I got the date on there. Um, I'll probably put down that we're in the photo booth, but I think it kind of goes without saying. <laughs> so, so there's Tool Time Tuesday. And down below you will see that um, there are other people who are joining in and go and see what they've done. So I will see you tomorrow with something else. Have a wonderful day. There will be close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.